everyone and welcome back to Ceylon Plays Imposter Factory. We're still in the process of going through Linry's life and it still seems we got a lot to go through. But anyway, let's continue if we can do anything here. Nope. Oh, we got the three circles. I forgot. Whoopsie. Oh, that's cute. I don't know what that is. I was going to say coffee, but there's stuff sticking out of it. Anyway. Oh, that is coffee. It looks like a plant. I don't know why. But anyway, we're going to continue on to Linry's next life stage, I think. Oh, there's us at the library. And us hanging out. Aww. Uh, maybe they become f became friends? I don't know. They sure did hang out a lot. Huh. Aw, lunch date. Can I do anything here? If not, then I'll just go in the building. Oh, it's nighttime. Um... It's too quiet. And we left our stuff... Oh! We're sitting on the window, that's why. And how about the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, it was quite a sight. I've seen the Eiffel Tower in person. It's gorgeous and pretty big. I mean, there are a lot of taller structures nowadays, but... There's just something about the way it stands alone in the horizon. It sounds nice seeing all of those places up close. I wonder if it's different from the pictures. Are you kidding? Of course it's different. It's standing beneath the proof of civilization close enough to reach out and touch history. I hope your anthropology professor shares the same level of enthusiasm. Eiffel Tower, the Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall. Honestly, I've always wanted to go too. Then why don't you? I mean, if I'm able to save up for a trip, I'm sure you could too. No, it's just... I don't have the time. Don't have the time? I know you're busy, but surely you can spare a few weeks. It's not just that. I chose my path a long time ago, Quincy. I have to find a place where I'll leave a mark, but I don't know how long I have to get there. It's nice catching glimpses of the scenery as I go, but... If I were to stop and smell the roses, I'm afraid I realize how nice it all is and just... stay. I see. That's quite a dramatic way to put it. But it's also kind of romantic. Reminds me of those stars in the sky. Huh? Like, they shine and brighten the earth below, but can't be a part of this world of themselves. Yeah. Something like that. Our time here is so limited. I always feel such a pressure to make something of it. Heh, <laughs> well, I guess that always had a different effect on me. When I think of how limited our time here is, I can't help but want to simply enjoy it while it lasts. I guess it's kind of selfish in comparison. There's nothing wrong about simply wanting to experience the world. Sounds like something my grandma would say. Uh, I mean in the nicest way, of course. It's just she always lived life one day at a time in the purest sense. Were you and your grandma close? Sure. My parents passed away in an accident when I was young, so she brought me up. Oh, 
That's sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear. Well, it was a long time ago. But I remember when it first happened. People thought Grandma was heartless because... Well, because she seemed to move on with her new life and routine rather fast. But I knew it wasn't because of that. She still grieved and reminisced about them every day, missing them. But she just had this view on life. She was just grateful to be here, to take that blissful with the tragic to be reborn each day. She always joked that even if the world ended tomorrow, she'd still be okay with it. Even if the world ended tomorrow? I envy her. I'm not sure if I'd be able to live day to day like that. Me neither, but I guess it did rub off on me a bit through the years. She passed away not long before we first met, actually. Developed Alzheimer's later in life, and complications got her. When we first met... Is that why you went on that trip? You know, when you told me about your paper when I came back, I really questioned the path I'd chosen. I thought there's someone whose work could make a difference. And here I am, just prancing through life for myself. It's not exactly an altruistic choice on my part either, to be honest. It's more like an impulse. In a way, I wish I could feel consent just being carefree and having fun, but I can't. Sometimes I wonder if I'd be bitter about it in the end. Well, sounds like maybe we could keep each other in check. Maybe we could. Hey, what do you think if... If... I mean, I know we hang out now and then already, but... What if we do that, but... More? Like, I know this place outside campus that makes the best avocado salad. Are you asking me out? Well, if you put it that way. Yeah, I guess I am. Aw, that's cute. I don't think that's a good idea. <gasps> it's cause I'm a liberal arts major, isn't it? I know, I'm just kidding. But it's okay, I get it. No hard feelings, let's just... I'm sick, Quincy. I have been since I was a kid. What type of sick are you talking about? Every morning I wake up, I'm never sure if it'll take a turn for the worse. I'm a time bomb. Oh, fuck. Okay. That scares me. It's really sad, though. Quincy? I guess I can be quite an arse. Wait, but if I can't remember any of this, is it still really me? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Um, can I click on her? No. Excuse me, is this seat free? It's taken. Sorry. Oh. Taken by who, I wonder? She's still there? Now I'm getting more sad. It's like she never left that spot. That's insane. Well, we could go on to the next section. I have a bad feeling it's just going to get worse from here on out. That's all I've got. But the barrier's still standing. What? 
How how am I gonna get to the next section then? And why am I flashing? Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait, why does it feel like... So I can still go through? Oh, okay. But why didn't that work on all the other ones? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, is it snowing? Oh, there's Linry. And Quincy. With the same outfit. You made it. That jacket. Yeah, I got your message. Wow, that's a lovely dress. Thanks. It's a bit chilly, though. I thought we were going somewhere indoors. Oh, wait a minute. When I said to dress well, I meant warmly. Because of this freaking cold weather front tonight. And you know, snow in autumn. Oh, I get it. Aw, you wanted me to pull this move on you, huh? What? No, that's not what I... Test pass! Score one for Quincy! Come on, follow me. Hey, really, it was an honest mistake. Oh, come on, Quincy, don't play like that. Hold on, I just gotta make sure everything's still okay up here. Okay, good to go. But maybe you could blindfold yourself for the surprise? I don't think that's a good idea walking up the stairs. Good point. Okay then, just walk up really slowly. But it's cold outside. <laughs> Ta-da! Is that... That's right, the Eiffel Tower. It's not the real one. And you're laughing. No, no, I love it. It's actually rather thoughtful. Did you make that for me? Of course. I mean, you wanted to see the world, right? He built all that by himself. Wow. That's nice. Considering Linry doesn't have time for it. That's really thoughtful. Huh? No offense to the real thing, but this is actually kind of clever. Is it right? Wait, what do you mean by no offense to the real thing? Next up, the Stonehenge. Oh, neat. Does the cafeteria know that they're missing trays, though? I'll return them in the morning. The Sydney Opera House. I'd love to see an opera one day. Why wait when you can do it right now? On second thought. Aw. I mean, I'm no Michelangelo, but... Duct tape, really? Hey, I'm on a budget here. It's not Big Ben, but it is a Ben. Huh? It's Pizza O'Clock. Always. Can't go wrong with pizza. Behold, the decent wall. Wow, please tell me you didn't eat all that takeout by yourself. 
I wish I could. I really do. Oh, little Quincy got sick from eating all that takeout. The Leaning Tower Pizza, of course. Missed opportunity with the Pizza Bend Tower earlier, perhaps. You would not believe the number of balls I had to find for this Taji Mahal. I count seven. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's right. Hmm, isn't one of the pyramids missing? Yeah, someone's using it as a tarp. And someone's using these as pyramids. The one with the bigger vision, I say. Alright everyone, I'm gonna leave this part here. That was cute, but also sad. I can imagine it's just gonna go downhill from here, unfortunately. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess I will see you all next time in another Imposter Factory video. Or whatever I make next. Goodbye, for now.